In the spring of 1945, Allied ground forces were rapidly advancing as German defenses crumbled. Captain John Rogers and the 2nd Armored Division fought their way through France, the Battle of the Bulge, and into Germany. On April 11th, Rogers and his unit reached the Elbe River and were eager to take Berlin. The battalion commander said, we're just awaiting orders. So we sat in Magdeburg, and uh, finally they told us, you know, you can't uh, can't go across the Elbe. And of course, we wondered why. Our division commander, Ernie Harmon, told him we can be in Berlin in 17 hours. And they said, no, you can't do that. You have to wait for the Russians to meet you at the Elbe. As the Allies were advancing the Western Front, the Russians were advancing from the east, effectively squeezing the beleaguered Third Reich. They pulled us out of uh, Magdeburg to the south on the Elbe River. And after, oh, another day or two, Lord, here came the Russians. And they got there and they brought with them their cognac and their vodka, <laughs> their music. They started dancing right there on the cement where we were. Turned that music on and started drinking that vodka and dancing, and boy, they put on a show. I mean, it was great entertainment. <laughs> but we had to let them take Berlin. That was what they told us. The Soviets advanced to the capital, and on May 2nd, 1945, German forces in Berlin surrendered unconditionally. Six days later, all remaining German troops surrendered, marking the end of the war in Europe.